Tonight, our Cairo 7 Eyewitness News consumer investigators reveal a new alert that could be as close as your electric blanket. Consumer reporter B.B. Emmerman has been digging into the fire danger and is here now with what she's uncovered. Susan, there are more than 35 million electric blankets in this country, almost all of them made by just one company, Sunbeam. Now, Sunbeam insists its blankets are safe when used correctly, but as recently as last month, blankets targeted in a growing number of lawsuits were on sale in stores right here in the Puget Sound area. Lawsuits that claim the blankets have serious safety defects that could cause a fire. A raging house fire kills three people, including two firefighters. Cause? Inspectors blame an electric blanket. Edmonds resident Terry Swan says his electric blanket burned too, and now he's suing Sunbeam, claiming his blanket was defective. Did you see flames? No. Smoke? Smoke. You saw smoke? Yeah. Swan, a diabetic who suffered a stroke shortly after the fire, was asleep when he felt the heat. Was it the electric blanket that was catching fire? It already caught a fire. What's left of Swan's blanket was sent here to the Las Cruces, New Mexico lab of Dr. Wendell Hull. I'm Hull, a, a forensic engineer, has examined dozens of sunbeam blankets involved in fires. He often serves as an expert witness for plaintiffs. I've uh, been doing testing like this since about 19... 93, I believe. Sunbeam's blankets contain up to 100 feet of a special wiring called PTC that generates heat as electricity flows through it. If there's a short or a break in the wire, the blankets have a built-in safety circuit that's designed to detect the problem and cut off power. But the safety circuit only works for the first 50 feet of wiring in the blanket. Two years ago, Sunbeam improved the technology so the entire blanket would be protected. But Hall says there are still millions of blankets out there with the old technology and reduced protection. I think it's prone to have a fire at any time. We asked him to show us why. Using a razor blade, he makes a tiny nick in the last 50 feet of the wiring in the Sunbeam blanket. This creates a short. Now watch, the wire begins to crackle and spark. A few seconds later, flames appear, and within moments, the blanket is engulfed. The safety circuit finally trips, but it's too late. It does not shut the blanket down in case there's a, uh, a fault in the blanket that will start a fire. Hall says the safety circuit doesn't always detect a complete break in the wire either. This videotape shows him examining a sunbeam blanket involved in a fire that injured a 15-year-old boy. It's clear the PTC wire has burned, but when Hall dismantles the safety circuit, it hasn't tripped. That completely takes out the uh, safety uh, circuit in terms of interpreting a problem in the blanket. Records obtained by Cairo 7 Eyewitness News show that since 1990, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has received close to 1,100 complaints about fires involving electric bedding, a time period in which Sunbeam claims it had virtually 100% of the market. Despite repeated requests, Sunbeam officials refused to answer our questions on camera. They did send a written statement. Each and every Sunbeam blanket and its components are tested multiple times before leaving the factory to make sure no shorts are present. Sunbeam does not believe that shorts in the PTC wiring can occur in normal operating conditions unless the wiring is severely damaged after leaving the factory or the blanket is misused. As for the large number of fires involving electric blankets, the company says the vast majority result from misuse caused by trapping the cord between the mattress and bed frame, improper laundering, chewing pets, and other types of cord damage. Terry uh, uh, Swan, though, is not convinced. Don't use it. No, no, no. You think they're that dangerous? Yes. So far, there has been no major recall of Sunbeam blankets, but a spokesman for the CPSC told us the commission is interested in hearing more about what Dr. Hall has found. In the meantime, the agency says electric blankets should be used with caution. Since it improved its safety technology, Sunbeam claims it has had no consumer complaints about its newest bedding products. The company is currently under bankruptcy protection. Susan, back to you. All right, BB, and for more information on electric blanket dangers or to report a problem,